Glaucoma means damage of optic nerve cells as their fibers leave the eye. It's a very specific type of injury to those optic nerve cells. And in response to that, they die. And so if, you're opti if you lose optic nerve cells, those points on the retina that the optic nerve cell uh, came from are now disconnected from the brain and you get loss of visual field. Notice in that explanation, it has nothing to do with eye pressure. Eye pressure is just a risk factor for why those nerve fibers get damaged. But just like people can have strokes without ever having high blood pressure, you can have glaucoma without ever having high eye pressure. And we call that normal tension glaucoma. And there's a lot of interest in understanding like how, how similar are these two types of glaucoma? If you have glaucoma with elevated eye pressure versus lower eye pressure, you know, are they the same or are they different? And, and there are reasons to believe that there's a lot of overlap, but there are some subtle differences. I will say this, in either case, whether your eye pressure is high enough glaucoma or the eye pressure is normal and you have glaucoma, lowering it further is still helpful. And a large clinical trial done here in the U.S. demonstrated that. First course of action for someone who's been diagnosed with glaucoma includes having an understanding of what stage their glaucoma is. So they should be seen by an ophthalmologist or a glaucoma specialist, and they should really stage it with imaging of the nerve and a visual field test. And then once we have an understanding of how, if, you, if it's mild, moderate, or advanced glaucoma, then we can decide on treatment. And usually it starts with either eye drops uh, or laser uh, to lower the eye pressure. The only thing we know how to do, which is kind of a funny thing, but the only thing we know how to do and how to change in glaucoma is the eye pressure. So once diagnosed, we need to reduce the eye pressure by about 20 to 30% from whatever the baseline pressure is. And sometimes people will say, well, what if my pressure was never high? And I explained to them that sometimes in glaucoma, the pressure doesn't need to be high. Uh, it, it just means that it could be too high for your eye. So even though the pressure might be normal with 16, 17, 18, it just means that maybe that pressure for your eye is too high and it's causing glaucoma and nerve damage. Very common question, a great question from glaucoma patients is, what kind of sun wear or should I even be wearing sunglasses? And I think it's really important in general, whether you have glaucoma or you don't have glaucoma, that you should protect your eyes with sun wear. You decrease the risk of cancers around the eyelids and in the skin around the eye. It's important for people with macular degeneration to have sun wear. It's important for people with glaucoma. It's important for any person to wear sun wear. What I would look for is I would look for a pair of uh, sunglasses that is going to block out 99% to 100% of UVA and UVB light. You also want to look at lenses that are going to screen out about 75% to 90% of the visible light available. It's best to go to your eye care provider to get advice about sunglasses. Most of your eye care providers with opticals are going to have excellent sun wear that are going to be useful for you. They're going to be more of the wraparound type that is very important. And so again, doesn't matter if you have glaucoma or don't have glaucoma, sun wear is crucial and very important for all of us.